What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tyler. I'm glad you could join me for this very important AMC update video. And we're going to be going over something that is also very important to AMC, but for the overall markets. When this does happen, when the United States defaults on their debt, as well as the market goes through a crash or correction, we are 100% going to see the AMC short squeeze ultimately force the big guys that would never otherwise be forced to cover on their short positions to actually be forced to cover so we're going to break down exactly how that works but a way bigger portion of this video is going to be going over the fact that the united states may default on its debt what that means for the overall market as well as go over why the market is likely to be going through a correction and we might be at the forefront of actually seeing this right now so this is very important every investor needs to be made aware about this information so drop that like on the video as well as subscribe to the channel and let me know down below in the comment section what you disagree and what you agree with of this thesis this is all factual data mixed in with a little bit of my opinion so if i say something that is my opinion always make sure to take in those opinions but come to your own conclusions because i am in no way shape or form a financial advisor a financial planner or your dad so let's get straight into this video Video. First and foremost, I want to go over the debt ceiling and what that situation is. I'm sure you guys have heard of the debt ceiling. So what is this debt ceiling? Congress and the president set a single limit on the amount of debt the Department of Treasury can issue creating the debt ceiling. This provides the Treasury with the flexibility that it needs to manage federal debt on a day-to-day -day basis within the overall limit. And what you guys might not know, it's not as easy as printing money. It literally is that easy, but you can't just legally print money if you are the Federal Reserve. You have to issue treasury bonds, which are bought by investors that pay out interest. If investors are not buying these treasury bonds for low yields, which they are right now at about 1%, then these yields will go up dramatically, meaning that the taxpayers will pay a lot more. But we will get into a little bit more of that rabbit hole later on into this video. But what you guys need to know is that people have to buy these bonds to be able to fund the American government's operations. If people don't buy the bonds, there is no money printing or money spending that is going to be happening. So that is ultimately the debt ceiling. And does say the debt ceiling does not control the amount of debt. Instead, it is an after the fact measure that restricts the treasury's ability to borrow to finance the decisions already enacted by Congress and the president. Delays in raising the debt ceiling can disrupt financial markets, increase U.S. borrowing costs, and threaten the full faith and credit of the United States. So when this happens, essentially people don't get paid. And this actually did happen on October 17, 2013, when Dagon Global Credit Rating downgraded the United States from an A to an A- minus and maintained a negative outlook on the country's credit. And this did cause a bit of a market disruption to say the least. So that is what you guys need to know about the debt ceiling. It could really hurt our markets where, when we are already at a level in the markets where we are looking at a lot of negative things that are going on. And ultimately, we are going to go through a correction at some point. If it's not in the next couple of weeks, it will be in the next couple of months. And that is my opinion. Nobody knows that, but that is my opinion. It's probably going to happen sooner rather than later. But let's talk about what is going on in the overall markets. And we are at a critical level as we do currently speak. This is the 50-day moving average on the daily candlestick chart. This is what all analysts have been talking about ever since November of 2020. We have not went substantially under the 50-day moving average. We will touch this 50-day moving average, and then we will bounce right back up above this within the span of usually only a couple of days but really we don't always even touch this or go under this it comes very close so you guys can see one two three four five six seven eight we are on our ninth touch on the uh, 50 day moving average on the s p 500 or i should say we are right at that point when the s p goes to uh, 442 dollars that will be an official touch on the 50 day moving average if we do go under this 50 day moving average and don't see a quick bounce we are likely to see the correction start then due to a lot of margin calls that would be issued because as we do know hedge funds institutions or even regular people are at all-time high margin debt levels and that is no secret finra does does publish that information it's at about 850 billion dollars double what we were at during the crash of 20. 
20. So you're likely to see a lot of margin calls going out. And why I say this will cause the AMC mother of all short squeezes that really nothing else will cause this comes down to the fact that somebody like Citadel, $450 billion of assets under management, you think they care about their, let's say $1 billion AMC short position. If AMC 10 x in value, it went to a $10 billion short position. Yeah, it would hurt. It would be, you know, about 1% of their portfolio, a little bit less than that. I do believe my math is correct. Do you think that would make or break them? It certainly would not. They would deposit more money into their position. They would wait for the stock to go back down. I'm not a fortune teller. I don't know what the stock is going to do, but that is why without a market crash or correction, they would not be forced to cover because ultimately as the overall market does go down, Citadel's portfolio would go down in value and the smaller shorts of AMC will be covering along the way. Citadel, the big guys, they're not going to want to cover when AMC is a thousand or $10,000 per share. They are going to wait and let this situation really boil into a catastrophe for their business. So that is what is going on as the stock market goes down, as their portfolios go down, their value obviously goes down in those portfolios and their margin maintenance levels go up at the same time, meaning they would be forced to cover on their riskiest positions, which would be arguably, that's my opinion, their AMC short position. So that is why it's good for AMC. Not a great thing where we do currently sit for the overall markets, not good at all. I do want to go over as well the Buffett indicator. So the Buffett indicator is basically taking the world's GDP and dividing it by the total stock market GDP. And this has been used to call corrections in the past. The 2008 correction, the dot-com bubble in 2000, this has been used over and over again. And what Buffett said right here, he said... Uh, Buffett trumped his namesake gauge in a Fortune magazine article in 2001. The billionaire boss of Berkshire Hathaway described it as, in quotes, probably the best single measure of where valuations stand at any given moment. Moreover, Buffett said it should have been a, in quotes, very strong warning signal when the yard six skyrocketed during the dot-com bubble. He added that buying stocks at a reading of 70% or 80% would likely be lucrative, so a good idea, but investors would be playing with fire when the ratio approaches 200%. The U.S. stock market is firmly in fire territory with a current Buffett indicator reading of 208%. That figure is Oh, that just, that's weird. Uh, it says that figure is well above its 187% reading in the second quarter of 2020 when the pandemic was in full swing and GDP was about 15% lower. So all in all, this Buffett indicator is really signal signaling to us markets are way overstretched and due for a pullback. But there is even more compelling information that we do have to go over. And this does revolve around... Uh, Something that you guys have probably not heard about, to be quite honest with you. This is a real estate group in China that controls $305 billion worth of assets. A good portion of that is controlled by companies or people in America. They're having protests at the office and they literally said uh, that, hold on, let's see right here. Uh, it says that that could, in quotes, lead to cross default, which would have a material adverse effect on the group's business prospects, financial condition, and the results of operations, is said in a statement. Basically saying we're on the verge of going bankrupt, that you guys may not be paid back on your obligations, on your interest obligations from us. And this could have a crippling effect for the overall global markets. $305 billion would be like Citadel, damn near like Citadel, just going bankrupt out of nowhere. This is going to have a huge detrimental effect and Chinese government is not stepping in to save them. They literally said in a statement that this is what you get for over leveraging so much. So this could have a crippling impact on the banking situation, on the overall global market. Something you guys should definitely be made aware about. There's a lot more to the situation that you guys should uh, obviously follow up on for yourselves. I will link this down below in the description as well. I think this is a very important article to go over and read for yourselves. They are within weeks away from going bankrupt. But also at the same time, we have Fred. Uh, Fed presidents Kaplan and Rosengren to sell individual stock holdings to address eth ethics concerns. We have went over this many times on this channel, but they essentially bought the dip in 2020 while the market was crashing, and they said they will sell all their stocks by September 30th, even though they are complying with Federal Reserve's ethics codes. And a lot of people are taking, th taking this as they bought the dip 
Now they are selling the rip. They are getting out because they know a market crash or a correction is coming. And that is the only logical explanation. And they said they are putting this into passive investments that probably just pay a high dividend that aren't going to move around that much. So a huge red flag. I've said this many times on this channel. The Probably the biggest red flag that you could ever get. Also, at the same time, guys, we are seeing the inflation actually coming in below expectations. So coming in at 5.3% when expectations were to for it to come on come in at about 5.4%. So what this ultimately means is that the Fed next week may be more inclined to start tapering talks. And that is going to be a very bad thing. These ta the, these these bond purchases purchases by the Fed have really been propping up the markets throughout this entire year. So we have a lot of negative things on the horizon really for the overall markets, but this is a very positive thing for AMC stock. Now there's much more we could go into. We could get into the bank situation where all banks, the top 34 banks have to deposit a total of over $1 trillion coming on October 1st, because basically they're lending out to too many risky individuals and their margin levels are insane. So we're looking at a huge, possibly financial meltdown that could be taking place in the next couple of months. Like I said, ultimately a great thing for AMC. All those short positions will have to be covered, leading to the mother of all short squeezes. And that is basically going to wrap up this video. I do just want to say I apologize for stuttering around a little bit. My head is not in the right place. Uh, I'm waiting on a call from Madison's mom, and I know I don't have it pulled up right now. But if you guys do follow this channel, you know exactly what I am talking about with this GoFundMe and the situation that did happen with her. She was in a rollover car accident. And situation is not looking good it was doing better it's not looking so good now so if you guys do want to be a part of this donate uh, i don't even really care about that just say some prayers if you guys want to if you're religious then that would uh probably help us more than even a donation but that link is down below pinned in the comment section so that is why i kind of started around this video hope you guys got some valuable information out of this video if you did make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as like the video to help push this video out to as many people as possible let me know your guys opinions on this whole situation that we went over in this video down below in the comment sections also i do have four links linked down below i have a link for the buy and sell alerts you guys be notified in real time every time a trade is bought or sold we keep it very inexpensive so anybody is able to join we don't you know make it super expensive so you guys can grow your knowledge with stock and options and also make some passive income long-term investments get access to what i am doing in my day-to-day -day trading and my overall portfolio Folio. And there's also two links for free stock if you guys want to directly support the channel in that way. Link for public and the link for Weeble. So with all that being said, guys, I do love and appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you for those of you guys that have donated and have said a prayer. It all means a lot to me. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night and I will see you in the next video.